peanut is such a boy. The guinea pigs have really uh, sensitive respiratory systems. She weighs a lot. I have three guinea pigs. That's this is peanut. That's dumpling. And this is tofu drinking water right here. So peanut who is grooming right now she was my first guinea pig and i got her in 2016 june peanut and tofu when i first had them i knew nothing about guinea pigs so i have to admit i i got them from petco or PetSmart. i forget um and then like after six months of having them i realized there are guinea pig rescue centers and rescue centers out there so I went to the rescue center in Chicago called Critter Coral and then adopted Dumpling. Are they all females? Yeah, they're, they're all females. She weighs a lot. <laughs> she, she, she uh, I think, I think around like more, more than two pounds. More, definitely more than two pounds. Peanut, peanut and tofu, they are less than four years old couple months less than four years old and dumpling is a little bit over four dumpling was adopted uh six months after but uh when i adopted her she was one year old so that she's about six months older than peanut and tofu yeah i would love to it's just that i think peanut is the biggest problem when it, when it comes to adopting new guinea pigs because Peanut is such a bully, so I don't want, you know, new guinea pig to come and get bullied by peanuts, so I have to be more careful. Someone told me, like, if their size is too different, like, if, if they're much smaller than peanut, then peanut might not bother them. I think, um, I think cucumber, for sure. I give them pepper, like bell pepper for vitamin C, but they don't like it as much. Um, they also like red leaf lettuce. So I think cucumber and red leaf, leaf lettuce are the favorite for all three. Well, it's not much of an inspiration. I just love my girls, just wanted the best for them. So the product is to make sure I provide the healthiest, um, healthiest product for guinea pigs for my girls. How did I come up with liner? So Tofu had bacteria and conjunctivitis in one of our eye and um, we were giving antibiotics and we did everything we could and everything that vet told me to do but it wasn't going away. So I was reading a couple research. I realized that um, a lot of it could come from the bedding. So that's how I ended up developing the product. And after the product, um, you know, obviously Tofu's conjunctivitis went away. Like now she has like perfectly healthy eye. Cleaning? Well, per liner, it takes like 30 seconds, honestly. 30 seconds to probably less than a minute. Um, in this room, I have two that gets pretty messy. So about um, less than five minutes, I think, because I have like one, two, three, four, five, six six liners so i have a lot of guinea dead liners that i've been using for more than a year so actually i even have prototype first version but i don't use them a lot so i would say a little more than a year if you take care of it properly yeah i mean it really depends on how well you take care of it just try not to heat damage it by running it in hot dry or something they might sneeze just because there's too much dust in the hay. Um, not all hay is like kind of made the same in a way. So um, I would try to offer them like hay that's less dusty. Or if you have already bought like a bunch of hay, then try to like remove the dust a little bit by like going outside and just shaking a little bit in a, in a basket or something. They have, the guinea pigs have really uh, sensitive respiratory systems, so you gotta be careful. Um, it's our own brand, but in regards to how to find the best hay, uh, I had to go around a bunch of farms for, and it took me about a year. 
um, and also we did a lot of like lab testing to make sure they're good but the most important thing is that they're green fresh and well taken care of the second part is, is even if the hay is good it needs to be stored correctly and processed correctly which um, not many people do these days but we definitely optimize our hay to make sure they're good for animals. The difference between first cut and second cut, the first cut is just the, you know, like grass grows, you cut it first, that's the first cut. And after the cut, it grows again, you cut it, that's the second cut. That's the basic difference, but to be honest, it's not, that's not too important. The most important thing is whether it's first cut, second cut, or third cut, whatever it is, you have to smell it. Make sure they are fresh and you have to make sure there's no mold. You have to make sure it's green. You have to make sure it doesn't have a lot of dust. So make sure it's fresh, good hay.